Good evening. A truck driver from Washington now faces criminal charges here in Kentucky. Miroslav Kuzmanovic is charged with reckless homicide, four counts of wanton endangerment, and a communication device violation. State police say he was involved in a deadly crash on Interstate 64 in Shelby County yesterday. This comes less than a week after another out-of-state truck driver charged with driving drunk wrecked in Laurel County. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy explores a rise in wrecks involving out-of-state truckers. She has our top story at 5.30. Miroslav Kuzmanovic is the second out-of-state truck driver in a week involved in a serious wreck. And that got us wondering just who's behind the big rigs driving down Kentucky interstates. Commonwealth is home to major interstates like 75 and 64. And in the last week, two wrecks by two different semi truck drivers on those interstates have led to serious backups, even one fatality. Anytime you're dealing with truck drivers from other states, it's, it's more of a federal law because they cross state lines. So we would have to honor whatever system they're licensed out of. We've pulled crash numbers for the last five years available. In 2009, a quarter of truck drivers with known residences were from out of state. By 2013, that number had climbed to 46 percent. There's more trucks on the road than there were in the past. It's cheaper for companies to move freight by truck than it would be by air or, or even by train. So you're starting to see a little bit more of an increase in trucks than what you would normally see. Driver Miroslav Kuzmanovic from Washington is charged with reckless homicide after Wednesday's deadly wreck in Shelby County. Last week, state police in Laurel County say James Buell was driving drunk when he crashed his UPS truck. Commercial vehicle enforcement officers tell us they don't have to have a reason to pull a truck driver over. They often conduct random safety checks. In Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Commercial vehicle enforcement officers say that random safety stops can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to complete. On WKYT.com, we have an interactive chart where you can get a more in-depth look at the semi-truck crash data in the state of Kentucky.